Hey everyone, welcome back. So we've got our desserts out of the oven. They are fully cooked through. Um, let them cool off. Um, and I think I forgot to mention um, before I went to break, but the oven temp was 350 and we let them go for about 18 to 20 minutes. It was about 20 minutes. Um, and then I let, did let them cool off for about 15 minutes just because um, to let the brownie settle a little bit and the um, Reese's cup inside was kind of melty. So just wanted to give that a chance to set up before I try to um, do a live reveal here on camera. So this is our um, Pamper Chef um, mini serving spatula. Um, it's really um, good to try to get into these um, brownie pans. Um, usually makes easy work. So we're going to try to get one of these out. It looks like and I kind of got it. Made a little bit of a mess. It's still kind of warm. Um, the recipe that I got does suggest um, serving them warm with a little bit of ice cream. So if you wanted to do that, that would be perfect. Um, <clears throat> otherwise, I would suggest just taking them out and letting them rest on your, um, this is our stackable cooling rack. Um, and then you could, I would definitely store them in an airtight container um, to keep the brownies from drying out. But um, in order to, to give this one a little um, test taste, we are we have a special guest. So I would like to welcome my husband, David Richardson, and he is going to help us. Hi, he's going to help us um, give these a try. So this is chocolate chip cookie dough on the bottom with a Reese's peanut butter cup on the inside, and then brownie on the top. So, you give that a try. I'm going to turn this off. Let me know what you think. And then I'll try it. You got to get all three layers. Mm. Be good with some ice cream. Like vanilla ice cream. Let's see. You can really taste the peanut butter. Mmm. Which is surprising because you can't see it. Yeah. You... That's why I thought. I was like, where did the peanut butter go? But I guess it melted in. Oh, my gosh. That's good. That's really good. And that was super easy. Um, the cookies on the bottom were pre-made, just pre-made dough. And then, of course, the Reese's cups are already made. Um, and then the brownie batter on the top is easy to put together quickly. Um <clears throat> And like I said, you can mix these up um, really with any cookie you want on the bottom. And then the filling really um, and the brownie actually as well. But um, what one thing I did want to show you as far as anything sticking, there's absolutely no residue in that pan. Um, so once we get the rest of these out, which they'll come out no problem, might be a little bit of a mess um, until we let them set up all the way. But um, they'll still come out no problem, no sticking. Um, so clean up the breeze. This is um, dishwasher safe, but I normally just use a little dish soap and give it a scrub. It takes me a minute or two and it's done. And I just let it dry and pop it back in the cupboard. Um, but anyway, well, I'm very happy to have had my special guest, my husband, on. Um, and I thank you again for joining me for this episode of Cooking Con Amanda. I hope that you um, found this recipe helpful and have found these tools helpful. Um, if I can be of any assistance of you in any way, whether you'd like to host a party um, or are interested in becoming a consultant yourself, please um, look me up and I'll be glad to help you. Um, you can search me um, on YouTube at AmandaRichardson.com um, and also on Facebook. Um, I'm available there as well and I would love to, to um, help you out. So hope you all have a good day and a good rest of your weekend and enjoy some football. I know that's what I'm excited for to finally have some fall and some football and yummy snacks to go along. So y'all take care. Bye from the Richardson house.